So I got a few packages in the mail today and we're going to check them out and see what they are. First is the envelope, which I have no idea what this is. Huh, it's a, <laughs> it's a letter from uh, Chevrolet from Jersey City. Um, it's, But they want to sell some uh, vehicle, 15 vehicles for, at $9,000. <laughs> not, not quite what I what is expecting. So anyway, that's done. Let's try uh, item number two. <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right, now this is more like it. This is a bunch of soft goods that I picked up from a usual place that I use in Florida. They do um, Mego um, eight inch figure stuff. Uh, ClassicTVToys.com, so that's where this stuff, I've got people asking me to explain a little more where I get this stuff from, so there you go. These are all for um, customs. Uh, this is a red bodysuit. I, I forget why I picked this up. I think just because I liked it. This is a yellow bodysuit made for a six inch figure. And I picked this up because I would like to make a 112 scale uh, one punch man. Um, I've got the body sorted. I've got the cape, um, the gloves, the boots. I'm just working on the head choice. Um, these are some fancy looking leather pants that I got for a uh, Mad Max custom I'm working on. So I'll cut these and then his boots, I'm going to use a piece of leather, will wrap around it. So hopefully, um, they kind of look like skinny jeans, but hopefully they'll work out. This is just by the sound of it. Loads of fodder. This is a great big bag of um, WWE um, arms. The idea was to um, relatively cheap, um, cheaply pick up hands because doing one 12 scale um it's if it, i have a difficult time finding her hands that work some of this like this is junk um but let's see if i can find one in here you know just a lot of nice gloved hands that could work for you know military purpose or whatever um, there we go. This is what I was thinking for uh, One Punch Man. He has red gloves. So I kind of thought that would work. These are the Undertaker. So we'll just put those on a different arm, a much thinner arm, but that would be, you know, and gray is a really nice base for painting something red too. So that works. But anyway, that, that's. an invaluable resource right there when you're doing you know, things that you typically have a hard time finding um, hands for. This one is one that um, I kind of bought because I, I thought it would work out really well. I'm hoping it still does. This is a Halo armor set, and they had it listed as uh, 112 scale. Get it open. So 
So the idea behind this um, is to use, check out yesterday, an Undertaker feather and see if I can uh, bash the armor onto him. I bought the two different sizes, I bought eight inch and six inch um, black um, jumpsuit. And then the armor would fit over that. Um, the hands would come out, and be replaced with the, the halo hands. Um, and I actually think it, hopefully it's gonna work out really well. So I have a super articulated um, halo figure. The other choice I could do is paint all this green and make a master chief. Um, kind of on the fence about leaving him blue or painting him green but that's the idea that's a project that I want to maybe get started on this weekend and um, the feet most likely gonna try and just gut out the lower part here and uh, just you know fix it there so he still has the articulation and all um, he was so he won't lose anything and then for the arms I may actually replace the arm section with a double joint so that he has even better you know full range of articulation on the elbow um, but that's this is a project I'm pretty excited about and apparently so was my dog so that's that's what I have for you tonight. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Bye. Keep watching for the next video. Come back soon. Bye.